Why is the cannibal courtesan already dead? She didn't even get a single line, bro. And Aizen is also dead. They built up this red-haired iPad samurai dude to be like Sagiri's like mentor and to be some super important person. Nah, he got eight. Like, this guy is killing off characters left and right and we just started the series. This guy is crazy. That story is probably going to be crazy too, right? Let's begin today's reaction. The blade dragon. Oh, this guy cut off his arm. His, his hand at least, right? You know he's a next level samurai because he wears his rope but doesn't put his arms through the sleeves, right? The people that only like covers it like that and wears it like a cape, you know they're next level. I mean, do dragons exist right now? <laughs> this All he did was ask, surely you couldn't cut a dragon, right? Motherfucker just destroys his entire dojo? Okay, he's super... Like, hot-headed. Gotcha. Fuchi. Now, should I even get invested in these characters? What if they just die immediately, bro? Like, come on. Dude, he's he has a blush while doing this. This guy's getting turned on! Wow! Well, <laughs> ew! He's a bit of a freak, but then so is everybody in this sh Did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, his blade is curved, too. Huh. I mean, his hand is... <laughs> Thanks. It's a super jacked fish. It's got some anal beads around his hands. He's like praying. Everything is it's so like religious themes with the monsters, huh? I mean, even the face of the insects are like Buddha face, weren't they? So, is it time to use ninjutsu? Come on. Ninjutsu time, please. Man, come on, show me some cool moves. He's really saving him. Not be fine. His body, defense, durability, insane. Oh, run where? You, you can't leave Sagiri behind. Come on, we had like a wholesome moment last episode. She unsheathed your sword in such an erotic way. You wouldn't leave her, right? The most interesting thing is the other uh, guy that was talking to Sagiri about breaking rules. He said in a couple hours, shit's gonna go down. How did he know? Was he alluding to this specific thing? Yeah, there's titans around, man. There's actual titans around. <laughs> Dude. I mean, this is, I mean, it's not the same as Attack on Titan, but they're, they're smiling, right? The Titans in Attack on Titan also smile. That shit was creepy. Oh, yeah. Don't lose your head metaphorically and literally, too. Nimpo. Nimpo? Ninjutsu time, please. Oh, oh. Okay, fine. But, okay, he finally used it again. I was like, did he do all that just for a physical move? But he said the Nimpo thing. He turns into like flames. Wherever he attacks, light. Uh, the Titan blew up his own head there with the bomb. Sagiri, folk, uh, are you? Is she getting turned on right now? Is she, is she, this, this is. Paradise to you? <laughs> Careful now! <laughs> ah! Don't get bit by the bugs! <laughs> Got me might would help? I mean, he was just contemplating, should I leave her? No, come on, you gotta... You gotta help her, dude. Come on, she un... You know? She sheathed your sword in such an erotic way. You can't just leave her behind like this now. Oh! <laughs> did this like subconsciously I think see he's like what the fuck did I just do oh another Azaimon I think purple ninja girl okay good so she's still alive last episode I thought she might have been dead are we now Surely not. Yeah, why does she have two executioners? Thank you. Really? Is she gonna... Really? 
Wow, his wife's word reaches him even now. I think she might want to work together. I don't think she's as insane or crazy. Well, I don't know. She probably is, but she's probably like reasonable, right? Oh, you saw that? <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, sure. Liar. You just tell from her voice acting, but oh, she's a, uh, you know, the cannibal courtesan might be dead, but we have this Kunoichi. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> be gone, thought. I already have a wife. I like her though. She's very playful. Her design is cool. I bet she's pretty powerful too. You know, she seems very confident. Yeah, because it's the Azaimon of the other guy that um she was with and died. The apostates, did you? <laughs> so she did kill him, somehow. So we need two to control, that's a lot of booba. Yeah, no ulterior thoughts, yeah? <laughs> so he's already seduced. <laughs> he's saying this so professionally in a serious face, but he... This dude is horny! Okay. Be gone, I have a wife. The way that her ass is sticking up like there, dude. Even the... <laughs> Go back to that frame. <laughs> the curves on her ass. <laughs> oh! I, we, we're not betraying our wife though, right? We're not betraying our wife though, right? Stay focused, Kabimaru. But she's a... Uh, maybe. Maybe. She's fun. <laughs> her voice actually just changed into a lolly. Get out of here. I want to see her... She's got to have ninjutsu too, right? And she's a kunoichi. Experimented on him, probably. <laughs> no. <laughs> she used him as a human... Oh, no. They all eat him up. Oh. Ew. Ew. She crazy. I know he tested on Makia. I feel I'm gonna try to test it on, you know, Gabimaru too, maybe. Ah, that is nipples? Bro. What's going on here? Younger sister. She's sick. Sad backstory, come on. Ah, don't make me feel for her. Oh no. Oh. The Kai. Is she getting her story wrong? Is she, this is a bullshit story, isn't it? I, I'm not sure, but. The story seems a bit scuffed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, I don't feel bad anymore. I feel like she's putting on this Joker-like, clown-like facade. She won't tell us the truth. She's all being, you know, casual and fun. But maybe there is a serious side that she's hiding. He got eaten up by the bugs, didn't he? What, what do you mean? That was also a lie? Did the blade just come out of her body there? What's going on there? Didn't you see the blade come out of the body? Hmm. Third time. Third time. And her ass is still perfectly animated. Wait. She's getting lightheaded. Is she passing out? You get bit? What happened? Hey. This red hair dude got killed off so quick. I can't. Like, he looks so epic. Why did they build him up? All this hype for nothing. Oh, it's the bandit dude. Brother. Toma and the bandit are brothers? Younger brother. Oh. Actual blood related. So. He joined the clan just to save his brother. And he did it in under a month. It's quite impressive. The monsters? Yeah. Dude, they look pretty intimidating. But... Good logic. Oh, damn. They look like homeless. That's why they became bandits. What? Did he, like, take out the bandit? Oh, he just became friends? <laughs> the fuck? He's just drinking at, like, the age of eight? 
They're really hyping the big bro up. Oh no, not his hair! No! Leave the trap's hair alone! Big bro, you wouldn't leave him, right? Big bro! Big bro? Big bro? But he came into the prison to save you! Are you serious? Oh. Okay. That's like his way of saying, handle it yourself. Okay, you got a bigger weapon. You got a bigger weapon. I'm like, <laughs> like you really leave him behind like that? Oh, okay. I thought for a second, I thought the change in the adaptability meant that he was ditching a younger bro, but who was that? Big boy. They can talk? Oh shit, they can all talk. You mustn't harm them. But you're trying to kill us! What are you, What is this shit? You mustn't kill tries to kill us. I mean, the anime is called Hell's Paradise, not Heaven's Paradise. Chobi was the name of the bandit that took him in, right? Dude, this guy is wild. I hope he gets to team up with Gabimaru soon. Interesting philosophy. Man, I, I like him so far. I hope he lives long enough though. Cause like, I'm scared of all these characters just dying immediately after I get attached to them. Big bros got you. Aww. Well, they're really, you know, showing how much, like, the strength between these two are, that the bonds between them. Surely one of them's gonna die, right? Like, they wouldn't build this brotherly bond over and over. <laughs> Sakiri's passed out and he has to carry her. Are they implying that Sagiri is weak and she's gonna get weeded out? Alright, we got a little bit more of a backstory from the Dragon Blade Samurai. Dude, cut up that guy's mansion because he said, hey, You might be called a Dragon Boy, but you couldn't kill a dragon, right? Just fucked his entire house up. I like him, he's crazy. And then the Bandit Brothers. Now, I don't know how... Uh, like, are they really gonna kill them all so quickly again? I'm not getting invested into these characters, man. Like, I don't even know about Gabimaru or Sagiri, man. Like, I, I don't know. Even the Kunoichi is all cool, but... I feel like the author is just kind of crazy. He'll just kill off whoever he wants to, but we'll see. But hey, if you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video and check out the other playlists for even more content. And until next time, take care.